Same situation, different feelings, at that time when Agostic broke into Weapon Master's head out. What the hell is going on here your room underground sitting there? Jim Dong Jin watched the video, groping his forehead. Three figures broke into his secret weapon storage. A tough girl who looks like a bully, a girl in a shaman outfit, and a man with his black cape flying. They were all familiar to him. That is the current most famous villain in Korea, Agostic, and his colleagues. No, what the hell there are so many people. Why does he have to mess with me? He shouted almost out of frustration. He has no idea how the man knows his identity among many villains and why he attacks his base. He should have dealt with the heroes since he's also a villain. But he has no idea why the man has to hassle him. But things have already been done, and it was time for him to think about how to deal with them. Fifteen Dong Jin was making weapons in his corner today as usual, with a simple dream that one day he could call all the humans in seal by giving them weapons he made, the alarm. He was working hard to make cutting-edge weapons today under his basement. Suddenly, the alarm began to ring. He expected no one to break into this place, of course. He was shocked when the alarm that he hung just for decoration went off. He hurriedly put on his glasses and checked the screen, and he was shocked as he saw Agostic, and as he turned on YouTube with trembling hands. He was shocked to see Agostic saying he would hunt him down. F off. Do you think I'm going to die like this? However, Jim Dong Jin was determined to be strong. His dream, his psychopathic wish is to someday slaughter people with all these weapons and be called the master of fear. Now that he's almost done with the weapons, that Agostic, who was about to make almost all the weapons, kidnapped people, converted them into mechanical humans, and tried to make an army, was simply about to be crushed. For a moment, he thought about throwing behind all of these weapons and running away. But it was obvious that if he ran, yes, that if away, Agostic would take them all. He's been living under the shadow for so long now. But if the man could still manage to find him, he would be caught someday even if he ran away. So what should he do? This is my place. Do you think he'll lose on my home ground? He muttered like a madman. Soon he made up his mind. He's going to slaughter Agostic and all those girls here. Shit. But how do I manage all those monsters? But the problem, of course, is that it seems impossible to get rid of them by himself. How does he deal with one class villain and two class villains alone? If they had come a little later, Chium Dong Jin, after he finished the humanoid robots, he could have sent them to cope. Unfortunately for him, they came just before he implemented the humanoid robots project, he thought about just setting this place with a bomb and killing them all. But it was too wasteful to do that, destroying all the weapons and human experiments he's built all this time. That's absurd. But that means he wouldn't defeat those three so while he couldn't run away and groaned, the opportunity has come. Wait the three people were going together but split on that two-way road. So the two girls were apart from him, and were seen walking down the hallway alone on the screen. Screen. Agostic was walking with a black cape flying. Weapon Master Jim Dung Jim suddenly began to see hope. Wait if it's Agostic come to think of it. It's because he always wears a suit and a mask and speaks in a mysterious atmosphere. What if he's weaker than he looks? His minions can be ridiculously strong. But he might be not. Jim Dong Jin started calculating in his head. At once, the conclusion was reached. Yet honestly, if it's just that motherfucker Agostic, I can catch him. Full of sudden confidence, he finally decided, I'm going to catch that Agostic bastard here and now. The man's force is not a big deal anyway. So if he makes a surprise attack with a state-of-the-art weapon, he can beat him. He can Agostic up enough, then he will kill him first then get rid of the other two while they're in a panic. Let me show you what I've got. Jim Dung Jin decided, soon changed into a suit, and took his weapon. He left his room and went on a secret road. With this shot from the back, no matter how amazing Agostic is, he won't be able to avoid it. Agostic's location is identified on the screen. After predicting his movement based on it, Jim Dung Jin, who hid by the room door where he was about to arrive through the passage, got in place. Time passed by finally. Agostic arrived in the room. Hmm, and what is this place? He heard a voice in front of him, listening to it. 
Weapon Master quietly pointed the gun at Agostic, noiseless explosive guns that he came up by himself. With one shot, the weak Agostic will be down and die immediately without knowing why. Fih, go to hell, you punk. So he pressed the trigger toward Agostic, who was off guard with an evil smile. The moment Weapon Master was sure of victory, quietly shot a bullet to Agostic. Kriak, something unexpected happened. The moment he pressed the trigger and the bullet flew to Agostic, something black suddenly rose from Agostic's body, like a black liquid flying in the air. It spread widely between him and Agostic then ate the bullet with its black, its black tentacles, and then the bullet explodes with a thud. But the explosion didn't have any impact, as the already hideous black tentacles surrounded it for a long time. S shit, what the hell is that? <sighs> At the feast of the creepily bizarre black tentacles. Weapon Master sank to the ground without realizing himself. Agostic was grinning back at him. Ah, there you are. Him I smiled as I looked at the trembling Weapon Master sitting in front of me. Yeah, man. I knew this was gonna happen. Knowing his personality from the comic, he must have been waiting for a long time. Long t and as expected, he came to attack me, who was left alone. He didn't even know I had a secret weapon. Go, Behemoth, with a flick of my hand. I controlled the black tentacles, which had been obnoxiously prevented from exploding by Behemoth. I caught it in Hanin Group's basement and haven't used it for so long except for the time with Stardust. So I just brought it as a bulletproof vest. More precisely, I didn't intentionally expose myself on the broadcast. Why? It's good to have tricks up my sleeve. That way, there will be careless people like him. <laughs> Behemoth's black tentacles wrapped Weapon Master on the floor. Soon, he was hung in the air like a cocoon tied to a spider web. He seemed to be trying to say something, but he was already surrounded by sticky black tentacles and couldn't even speak properly. Mr. Jim Olmer, Jim, nice to meet you. Imagostic. <laughs> yes. Yes, you must be angry and upset. I know. I pulled out the gun from inside. He started throwing a fit as he saw it. Funny. He had already killed a few people and he was going to massacre Seal later on. Late. What's so afraid about? Well, I get it. He was like that in the original. After killing thousands of people, he eventually died under Stardust's hands. As one of the few people Stardust killed, unlike other villains in the first place, he was originally rotten. Don't feel unfair. Jim Dungeon no more. Weapon Master, mm-hmm, you'll die later anyway, so wouldn't it be better for humanity and for you to die before that happens? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm I loaded my gun and watched him struggling in the black tentacles. I think he's asking me to save him, but did he save others? Well then, farewell, mm-hmm, mm And with my last words, I pointed the gun at him, bang. Soon. The struggling body stopped moving, Go still, it was pretty easy. I sighed and put the gun back in, in glad I had a chance to stop him like this. But I don't know what to do with villains I don't know names or headouts. As expected, leveling up Stardust and training other B-class people is the best solution. It's over, you guys can come now. After finishing, I contacted both of them. Soon after a few minutes, Inwool and Choi C E came to my place. Well done, Devin. Wool didn't have much agitation even when she saw the bleeding guy. Unlike Choi Siyi, who was slightly shaking, is it because she trained her tolerance while staying at Wolgwengyu? Well, now that we got rid of him, let's take a few weapons here, blow this place up, blow this and go. The rest of the weapons will be taken by the association. And that's actually what I meant, if it's the same with the second half of the comic. It's neither bad nor good if the association has as many weapons. It will be a mess, so I must prepare in advance. Thank you. Weapon Master, your weapons that threaten the security of South Korea will be used for South Korea. After a brief moment of paying a silent tribute to Weapon Master, we decided to take some of his most useful weapons. Farming time after defeating the boss is the most enjoyable, and we can fire a firecracker that will tell us where we are and disappear. The association gets weapons. And I get the title again, as a brutal villain who kills people without hesitation. Especially, having Stardust boil up hostility toward me would be great. These private sanctions, especially murder, Stardust hates it. Oh, right. And before we go, I definitely must make an aggro. 
Hey, what are you doing? Choi C.E. next to me freaked out as she looked at me writing something with blood next to his body with gloves on. Stay still. This is also fundamental. I began to write something down in blood, replying so. Do you start do so right, done. After seeing this, Stardust will be furious again, right? Perfect. After feeling satisfied with my piece of writing, I lit a fire on the mountain near the entrance and left, to you, Stardust. Somewhere underground in the valley, where Agostic committed the crime, Stardust and association staff came down to the ant cave of looking basement, while employees were busy identifying the scene and cleaning up dangerous substances standing in front of a villain believed to have been killed by Agostic. Stardust looked down at the words written in blood next to it, letters that must have been written by Ego Stick, written by Agostic for her. Looking down at it, Stardust, Shin Haro, felt puzzled. She's already had something like this before, the message he had already written twice before she knew Egostic. She was furious and hated Egostic when she saw the last time, to Stardust, hell, for some reason, this time, it didn't feel like that at all. Did I also get crazy? And I think this victim is also a villain, and that trail too yes, oh, nothing, keep explaining, listening to the staff's explanation. She just muttered quietly, muttered. <laughs>